What is a galactic light body activation? <clears throat> um, I'll try and keep this succinct. <laughs> um, so, as I said before, we have an aura, which is our light body. And it doesn't just stop there. <laughs> it, isn't just, it actually permeates all the way through into infinity, in my experience. We're infinite. Our heart chakra is the portal to source and light and divine and light and divine source is infinite. So we have that divine spark in us. Anyway, this light permeates within and the lightness within is the external. It's a lot for our heads to <laughs> grapple with. But when we have a light body, that does extend out. So we have the light that comes within and it comes out in one way. In more, in, in probably uh, a better explanation, it then comes out and extends out around us. Now, this light resonance is our soul vibration, our light from source, and will hold um, a, a memory because light and source knows everything, hence it's connected to the heart, the knowing, nosos. The light has access to illumination, we'll see. And so when we are enlightened, our light body expands out more. When we're in fear, we go like this and we contract and our energy our light body contracts. So how I work with people is to enable, assist, the, the heart resonance to it's like expanding. Because the minute we start, we get um, lighthearted. We feel laughter, joy. We literally, our light body then expands out. We start vibrating more lightly because we get... When we feel drawn to people, we can say, we might have the same phrase, or oh, I feel in tune with them. I resonate with them. Now, we have those phrases, but we don't, we don't question, why do we have, what does that mean? Why do we say oh, I'm in tune with somebody or they resonate with somebody? Because we get it. We have an instinct. We feel it. We have an, we intuit this. Oh, because we feel the resonance. And yeah. that's an energy. Oh. Yeah. We literally, our light bodies are meeting and going, oh, that's nice, vibration together. <laughs> and then we uh, translate that. We understand that. We feel that. We have a knowing. We, uh, uh, it's a gut instinct. It's the, yeah, one of the um, intuitive centers is our solar plexus. Yes. Which is where, you know, one of the light, light areas. So that is all it is. So the, um, having, uh, working with, bringing in our memories, the codes, the light, the energy, calling that in. Now, in order to call that in, in a way, we need to have space for that to come in and we need to be vibrating in a certain way. Because if we're like this, it can't come in. <laughs> it literally can't fit in. It literally, energetically can't fit in when like this. Oh, no. And a lot of people be like, oh, this being, this aspect to me, I don't know, oh, what is it? They'll, they are doing that. So, uh, Another yeah. question, yeah, sorry. So, uh, so how do you do that um, just light come in and not darkness energy, dark energy or this energy in that work? I mean, because you, so, when you open, you know, to the light, I mean, you maybe you open many um, portals. It is important to be grounded 
to be embodied. Okay. Because if we're not anchored, embodied, we are not uh, tuned in to our free will. We're not conscious. We're a bit unconscious. We're, we're literally all over the place when we say, oh, you know, you're a bit unconscious or I'm, I'm a bit feeling lightheaded. You can't see where you're going. You trip up, you fall. Mm-hmm. And that is not just on the 3D physical level. What is in the 3D physical level also resonates energetically on all levels. So you need to be grounded to see where you're going on all energetic levels. We're in the body and we're here to, to, to anchor in the energy. So that's the first thing. And when we are nicely grounded, we're also able to have boundaries. And again, that's being able to can be connected to our free will, our sovereignty, to say yes and to say no to know what feels right and what feels wrong for us. So if you're all over the place and you're tripping, falling, because you're not, you're not grounded. You don't see where you're going. You're like, Oh, I don't know who that is. I don't trust myself. I don't know where I am. Who am I? Or I better, I better just say, I better just go with what someone else tells me to do because I don't know who I am. I don't know where I am. I'm not sure how I feel this state of being is unfortunately how a lot of people are that's how i have was (laughs) i don't know who i am i don't know how i feel uh i'm afraid to feel i'm afraid to to think and and um, imagine imagination isn't real i don't want to dream um i don't want to bring in other uh beings who are they what if they're going to be evil you know all of that is a place of fear okay so we come into, come back into our body, and it can feel a bit catch twenty two because if, like a lot of human beings, we've had a lot of trauma, we'll come out of our body. We don't want to be in our body. We don't want to feel what we felt because it will be, it will still be holding on to it in our body, the trauma, if if it wasn't held. Okay, 